project. You can probably catch him in there. He likes to watch the games from the Discord, and we invite you to do the same. Let's get this game underway. Well, lots outside of B here for Fnatic. And then they've got Golden ready to come in through short, but already Config is not making this a warm reception, is he? Oh, Golden just about gets that. Now they get into the site and Golden still being a nuisance on this short push. It might have been an ugly start to the round for Fnatic, but Golden has bailed them out. Going aggressive as well. Poison's very, very low. Golden's onto a third, and this is a great pistol from Golden. Now Blame F is moving in through the apartment. So far, Golden has done a lot, but now it's the other IGL's turn. It's the guy on complexity, the muscle man to tap down Crims, leaving Flusher oh. all alone and Blame F. Man, it's it's Denmark taking that pistol around by storm. Yes, indeed. In Sweden, they gave their go, but it's not good enough. Nice uh, nice plays from Golden, right? Fnatic going for a B rush, draw a lot of attention. Golden gets a great timing up short, finds three in the round, even getting into the market there. But the fast apps flank Crims wasn't even considering it. And the short player just dropped by the USB. That's just beautiful from Blame F. What else can you want? And we know how hyped Cole get as well. Jason already inside of the fan cams there. But Cole, always, always very loud. Check out their comms videos. They're always entertaining. We've got some big personalities inside of this team. And Jason One Lake's a personality himself. Yeah. Golden, he's just going to be uh, put on the mantle there. Readjusted his screen. And now he's going to be doing that uh, that new feature, which is watch your teammates play the rest of the round. Yeah, that sucks for Golden, who's literally the only man to get kills in the pistol. And then he goes away straight into the first gun or first round. I say first gun round. It's because Fnatic made it so they invested on AKs. Crim's on a scout. JW dropping middle. That Smokey's got plenty of room to move as well. And Config isn't aggressive on Catwalk. They don't need to be in a 5-on-2. They've got their eyes on Con. Rush is going to smoke it and take a spot, but he loses his head. JW with a chance now to make this round interesting, but now being covered from the Catwalk, that Smoke's not covering anything, and Config is laying down shots. JW, does he want to get back up on the bench and take this duel? Might just be dropping towards B with his teammate, but Oboe's pushed all the way through and he could drop the bomb here. Crims with a scout. This is not the weapon for a close quarters engagement, but Oboe hears the first steps as Crims runs to middle. Oh, and that information has been transferred over. I think Complex are trying to figure out how to deal with what is this mid push, this mid aggression. Oboe's going to come up on the flank. Crims just spotting towards a site. Oh. And with the right turn, Crims gets that information, but without the ammunition needed, he is not unable to take the shot. JW at 19 HP. Oh, JW. E U B Y A W. He's not even going for the round, though. So I think that that really cool name that you've given him just ain't even worth it. JW no, it was, was worth uh, it. just looking to stay alive over here in Palace. As royalty does. Oh, there he is, the prince. But he gets away with the AK. He lives with all the riches. But he's like, he's material rich and financially poor. That's JW right now. In the game, of course. Yeah, Just want to yeah. make sure that we specify in the game. <laughs> he's got that AK and uh, he's got armor behind it. But now, like, this always puts you in a weird spot where, like, moving into your first rifle round, you're going to have a guy with really nothing, and that man is going to be JW. He does at least have the AK here and now, and then you've got some pistols around him, but it's only a tech and a deeg. Ooh. Three players into mid for complexity. They were looking to fight for this mid control. And I tell you what, it's going to be a pretty easy fight, gentlemen. You're just strolling in right now. The real fight's going to be coming in over here towards A, where Fnatic, they've got three smokes. They're going to throw this standard set execute, the one that we've even seen in our matchmaking games at home. Going to be a smoke towards CT, one at stairs, one for the jungle cross, and in they go. Yeah. Tony Rush. Ooh. Tech 9 doing everything it needs to do, everything it was promised. 
And much like your matchmaking games, that jungle smoke with a huge gap doesn't <laughs> land correctly, of course. That's not what we needed from Fnatic, but they do get a bomb plant, and that's everything here. Getting the money to guarantee JW an upgrade if he does die. That's assuming Fnatic lose this round, and that's an assumption right now, but JW's dead, and a lot of the opportunity flying out the window with only two pistols left up. Yeah, Flusher from the ramp is going to have to get something going. Perhaps Golden can just wait and, and just wait it out. He's got to hold on to that bomb timer as his back pocket, his pocket ace. Flexity, a little weary of it. They're going to smoke the bomb off. That's going to create an Aki Momo right here. Golden oh, just slashing that's... away like a sous chef in the kitchen. Just not able to find anything, though. Three rounds for Complexity still. Oh. Two alive. Golden <laughs> ends up getting the knife anyway. Oboe with a smile on his face, surely like Mr. Lake. Yeah, it's a small victory for Fnatic. It's a funny one. Like, Golden, Golden's so close to getting that player off the bomb, but doesn't get it until right after. Look at the slashing. Stabby stab. He's even blocked on Oboe. He can't move, but he's he's not hitting the right side until he just dives through after. Never, never been betrayed by a knife before, either. It's, there's a first yeah. time for everything for Fnatic. Golden needs to go back and spend more time studying the blade. Blade Master JW needs to, needs to teach him more. Whip out the katana. It will never miss. It's got quite the range, but Flusher, oh, he's getting pressured on ramp. He's going to fall off and molly it. Not wanting Cole to take him down early with an SMG, so Rush will just hold his own there. Obo aggressing on Catwalk with that deep smoky spots JW and tries to molly off the bench. JW needs to move. That might spread into his corner. But he gets out scot-free. Obo repositioning in ladder. And middle is mostly given away. Apart from Obo in this position, you'll notice Blame has fallen out of the window. He's wary of the boost that Cole actually can't spot or stop. And so he's just playing from CT spawn, leaving 1B right now. There's a, an issue in that regard, but Fnatic don't know it yet. Flush is pushing in through the B apartments to try and keep pressure up here, but with no utility, it's not like he can sell much of a fake. Resmoke in the window coming down. And if Fnatic want to split short B, they've got to get past Obo. Yeah, he's not a man to trifle with. They could flash in. Brolin could, but they're not. They're just going to try and run it dry, and that is a decision they could come to regret. There's a reflash throwing over. Comes in a little late, and he's already been dealt with. Poison now inside of this site with the AWP. He's been spotted by the first man crossing, and they're already close to him in the site. Poison, oh. missed shot. Now they're all around, and he tries to flick back to the player at bench. The Golden quenches his thirst for a second kill and gets that bomb down. It's 3v4 in the retake for Complexity. And Brolin, he's, he's tired of just sitting around waiting for these fights to come in. He's looking like he wants to bring the fight to Complexity. But they back out. They give this round over to Fnatic. They pay their respects and they let them get a first. This boost is nice to catch a player trying to hunt them down. Brolin, will he even know where he dies from? That's the question. I think I'll flick patrol as well. Aim in the center and hope that you can hit it fast enough. Cold Water double up here, so like heavy investment for them to, you know, lose. And so that's why this save is coming through very early. Definitely the right call blame. He had a fast rotate available into the window or from the window rather into the market, but wasn't able to put up much support and Poison needed a kill there. Like he had the opportunity, the players their sides turned, but as soon as he gives away his position, that smoke on the site, Golden just swings him and uh, chases him down. So nice round for Fnatic, despite losing the first fight up on short to Oboe, they trade and they take B. There's the weakness of that one man B setup. What's that guy doing in the bottom right? Those guys were just snacking out. I think one guy had a whole cake in his arm like a baby leaned against his chest, and then the other guy was eating ice cream. Shout out to those two fellas who are obviously having a pretty good Friday, September the 11th. And for us, it's Poison lining up some shots here in the middle. Weapons in the side of Fnatic. They're not going to want this one to go down so fast, but Config, having pushed up Catwalk, Ooh. takes a little bit of spray damage and ultimately decides to back away. It's not worth it. That smoke did fade away. And so has some of the presence here for complexity in middle. They had to feign off a little bit, considering there's nothing between them and the Almighty. Oh, the Almighty. He's up in apartments right now, looking down into the B site. Config's caught him, though. JW gets very deep, but then Config on the car. Rush with a CZ up close. Oh, he's going to get the kill. Immediate dink and follows oh, up to Flush. And now an AK given over. This could fall apart for Fnatic. This was a low investment for Cole. Rebuying off the back of lost players. They even lost Rush after time last round. So now armed and dangerous are Cole and Fnatic with only two up.
This is getting worrisome, especially because Complexity are already leaning config back over towards the A site. So he's going to be here very, very quickly. And that means Fnatic, they are walking in to quite the numbers on this other side. Rush tucking himself in, does get bested by Brolin. He tries to continue the spray, but Oboe's going to pluck him out of the round. And it's left on to Golden. Down goes the first, but Config, as fast as Golden is on his feet, Config's a little bit faster yeah. with the gun. And you look at Golden right there, slick moves. It looked like it was going to be the play of the day. I mean, that one doesn't really exist today, but it could have been a nomination for something that could be a play of the day. Yeah. Should it have worked? They just weren't ready for the third player. Config so quick as Harry put as well, getting into CT. Like, they didn't even expect the second player. It seemed like after they clear out the man on the site, jumping up, killing a second. You think at that point it's surely yours, but it's not. And Cole, they're going to steal it away with that force. Orp is back for poison on the A bomb site. I was going to say B, but he's moved over to check Palace. Rush has already pushed through. And Config backing up. No need to die in middle when you've got so much control on the A side of things. They know that Fnatic are heavy on this side of the map. And coming out from lower with two. Blame watching for the boost. And JW scoped up on the connector. Rush isn't going to overplay his hand here. He's going to hang out. And that's probably the right call, given that Flusher is defaulting towards T Ramp right now and checking Palace. So not giving away this kill. Always tempting to go for the full flank. But this position could be seriously useful in a post plant. If you lose the A site, come in and pinch them from the Palace. Right now, though, no rush for Fnatic. They do take their time on these T sides on their map pick. Now, rush feels like the time is now, but Flush is still holding this. Oh dear, he's looking away, he's looking back. Which timing does rush hit? Uh, oh, well. And it rings Flush's bell. You can ring my bell. That's like really ominous, man. <laughs> Is this is a horror movie? Yeah, Look that's that what it felt like it turned into. Oh, they can get up this is a bit of a horror movie. This has not worked out for Fnatic. Look at this, three on five. Albeit a ton of damage dealt towards complexity, but... Uh-oh. Here comes Rush, yet again. This time he secured the bomb, poison in the side. Oh, wow. JW could not have seen that one coming, not even from a million light years away in the Hubble telescope somewhere in between. I don't think Poison expected it. Just a random shot through the wall, through the smoke. Fnatic through that jungle smoke, which I love to see when you take the middle. You can you can just come up from a jungle and go towards window, etc. But Cole had been very passive in giving up the window and going back towards CT. And so because Fnatic is splitting A with a bomb, they want to use that smoke to fight on the stairs. But there's only one position there, and it's the stairs. So Poison's just watching it. He lays down two with the AWP. And that's a lovely hold from Complexity once again. Rush, a lot of value off of these low weapons or these bad weapons, right? He's often the guy to take the hit, play with the SMG in a rifle round. And he finds two kills there, getting Flusher in spawn and Golden late on ramp. So great work from Rush, just holding his own. And Cole, 5-1 up right now. Yeah, this is very, very dominant. I don't know how Rush gets away with two. Like the first one onto Flusher, it's like, well, Flusher was holding him, but Rush, I guess, just dinked him on the first peak. But then with 20 points of health, he drops the bomb. And at that point, the round's basically over and done with. Gets a lot of usage out of that MP9 and the free upgrade onto an AK. And if there's one thing that we like more than just getting kills, it's getting things for free. It's a golden. I mean, lining up this window smoke. He's on top of the dumpster, so I'm, I'm interested to see where this one's going. That's just a top yeah, mid smoke, yeah. yeah. Going in late, they're holding for mid aggression. Cole have put three players in mid before, and Fnatic are waiting for JW to come out under. Blame from a wide angle in the connector, holding onto it. Poison spotting window. We finally got the AWP in mid, but it's going to get smoked off pretty early. Blame with a well-timed Molotov will keep JW back. No chance to move through, and the spam from connector puts up so much damage. That molly should be Golden's ticket to hell. Oh, he gets out just about the more spam. The Jeez. merrier here for complexity. And finally finished off another smoke shot for poison. JW has made his way out past the Molotov in middle, and Blame doesn't know just yet. Poison's like just deleted the image of smokes from his CSGO because he's killing everyone through them right now. Resmoke into JW. He's really hated it. That smoke almost faded. He was he was excited to finally get stuck in, but instead he just walks to his death through the smoke. Now these set smokes towards jungle side come in, but complexity, they're going through them. They're looking oh, for man. these fights, and it's the two low HP players that are still alive from that mid skirmish, just kind of meandering their way into the site. And this one should get cut down pretty easily. 
for complexity. Six to one. This is a very good start from Cole. It's a convincing start. And for Fnatic, doesn't even look like they have began. I mean, we're, we're talking about two different cars on the, the racing line here, and one hasn't even turned the car on. So, Fnatic, where are you at? They need a response soon. You don't want to see that many T-rounds slip away, but right now, that's certainly what's happening. Six to one. Let's see what's in the bag of complexity here. Op on poison. It's been pretty pivotal. Good fix, gonna push up middle. He finds Brolin, starts to line up Golden as well. He's oh. gonna grab him and blame. It's not even fair. He shoots him through the smoke. Crims falls continuously. Oh. The worst part about that is for Fnatic is they've been waiting for that round. They even played for it last by not only waiting for JW to come lower, but Brolin was holding the top of mid passive from where the bomb is now and waiting for complexity to push. Well, the one round Fnatic go, oh, they, they won't push. We'll take mid. Boom. Three players fighting, spamming smokes, config pushing with flashes behind him. That's just a, a reckoning for Fnatic. And the round's barely started. It's already over. Flusher, a one on five. This guy's good, but config tucked in the corner in a very off angle. Flusher's not even considering it right now. And this is just so dominant. Like, this is a buy round that, like you say, Fnatic had been waiting for. They knew what they wanted to do. They try and do it. And. Man, they just get lit up, don't they? Flush ship. He's made a bit of noise there on the drop down. Config still just waiting ever so patiently. Oh, Flush ship. He is. No. Oh, man. He it checked like it. He did. But, like, he checked it, but not at the point where you have to actually check it. And then, like, yeah. It's like a half yeah. check. Yeah. Oh, that's such a shame. Word check right there. That is sort of a new angle, right? Like, when I say new, you know, relatively, uh, when the bins got removed to the top of middle, that, that cubby got pushed back a little bit. So, yeah, you know, maybe just not, not fully thinking it was uh, that deep. I, I, I do think, though, man, like, if you're if you're Jason Lake and you watch this complex, you must feel very, very proud that the team that you, you know, like, you, we were there back at the Berlin Major where the tweet came out, like, no, we're building a juggernaut. We're getting rid of this team. We're making a new one. And, and, man, like, what a, <laughs> what a, that's the thing. It's such, it was such, like, a ballsy move and such, like, an outlandish approach to just be like, nah, whole new team, whole new complexity. Bye-bye. But, man, has it worked. And the results are just showing more and more with every event that goes by. Yeah. They are demolishing Fnatic right now. They're making it look almost too easy for my liking. Oh. And it's set to continue here in this partial investment. And the other reason that's kind of cool, right, is it feels like complexity. They've kind of influenced the way that some teams and organizations look at this game now. Like Cloud9 basically making the same decision that Cole did, even choosing a little, little buzzword like Colossus in there. But, you know, there's just so many talking points on each one of these players as well, which I think is so exciting, right? Not just, as you said before the game, like Blame F, relatively unproven in, in the international scene before he came to this team. Uh, Poison, young Orpa moving to a North American roster to a degree, obviously. We look at Cirque, there's a great comparison to draw there over in EG, they're wrecking right now. Config's resurgence as an individual, yeah. so many opportunities, but well, this seems to be the one that he's doing the best in. One of the other things that's so sick is it's not the case of like an NA org importing like one or two EU or other, like you know other nationality players, it's it's like it's like the the NA of the imports, you know, and that's kind of like a cool yeah. vibe to have, right? Like you're bringing over like the 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 high flying, high fragging potential of guys like Hobo and Rush, and even there when you look at those two, like there's there's strong parallels and then also like strong uh, uh, opposites, I guess, in the sense that one's very very experienced in Rush, right, major title under his belt, and the other you got Obo. Uh, far less experience, but a great pickup nonetheless. Yeah. So here's Config holding the lower tunnels, and he, he makes that look uncomfortably easy. Oh dear. JW, you don't even get to see what lies around the corner. And complexity, five to four in their favor right now, and looking to get even sweeter. Obo, looking to hold mid, does get bested by Crims but immediately canceled out thanks to Poison. Oh. And now Config getting stuck in as well, running through that Molotov, leaves Flusher and Crimson a two. Well, what? actually just Flusher. My goodness, this is unreasonable. Yeah, just tricky, tricky in every way. Running through Molotovs, hiding in con behind the boxes. Poison's going back for more in mid and Flusher again in another uncomfortable clutch. If he peeks now, he's got Config. And yeah, Config's not even considering the Flusher could be out on this side of mid. So that's a free kill. 
Ooh. Oh, Flusher. He likes getting more than one. He likes uh, getting a bit more bang for his buck. And so he might have Poison here, who assumes mid to clear. Ooh, it's, you can't see the head. So There's got to be more than one shot, but he can't follow up. Poison, quick response. Three on the AWP. He may have had that uh, sitter missed in the first B take when he had the AWP earlier on, forcing Cole to save at a 3-0 scoreline. But since that one round the Fnatic had got, Poison has not been missing a beat. Flusher shows how hard it is to hit the head from behind. Impossible, especially when you blow. But even though he finishes the job, Poison's very quick to react. And that's a lovely round there for Complexity. Once again, add it to the list. Yeah, Krem's just a little bit flustered right there. And you can see why. This game will do it to the best of them. Most yeah. smooth sailing of players. Will definitely make you scratch your head a little bit. But for Complexity, it's looking pretty damn good so far. Nine to one. They don't look to slow down anytime soon. A buy is going to come out here for Fnatic. We're going to see tons of utility. And while it probably more re refocused, a recentered Fnatic, they've got to start grabbing some rounds. They got to start doing it now. There's only yeah. five left to grab in this half. I hope they move away from these early mid takes because they're just getting blistered by complexity in there. So early smokes into middle. Fnatic aren't going to put everyone here, but they will have some control. Swiftly taken away by Blaine. Flashed up the top. He's so blind though from Fnatic's follow up flash. And now they know he's here. He might not want to stick around. And they're not giving him the fights anyway. Fnatic is so scared of Cole and their aggression and for good reason. As everyone backs up. That's actually good for Fnatic as Cole is still scared of middle. They don't know Fnatic have bailed, but they're running out through ramp smokes. Good flash to keep Flusher out. Rush doesn't see him. The molly pushes him into the open. A nice opener for Fnatic. They need to do something with this as everyone is rotating towards A. Oh, Poison flashed off the angle. Gonna go back now, and now they know he's here. He's very, very low, and he does need some help. Flusher finds him. Obo oh. with the double up, and in comes Blaine, barreling through smokes. But Brolin was here as well. Crim's there to help out. This AWP is watching on the back of Config from short, and it's gonna help bail out Obo as now it falls onto Crims in this 1v2. He struggled in this game. He got his far first kill in that previous round, in round number 10. He was 0-9 before that. He needs three in this round in total. Yeah. And as he tries to wrap into the murder hole, Config is already holding for it. This kill gets delivered to Config, and it's 10 on the board for Complexity in spite of the strong start to that round for Fnatic. Obo and Config stand tall. Yeah, and that was a great start for Fnatic. They had excellent utility, right? Going from the early flashes to get Flusher out the ramp to even blinding uh, Poison there in the jungle, mollying out Rush. But they go for the stick and the cover's not there. Obo just sprints through the smoke and he puts in enough chaos that the complexity are able to win the round, uh, dropping the bomb and just forcing Fnatic into a clutch again. But they just can't convert. They can't even get a kill in Crims. Two frags to his name, Fnatic one round, and that was in round number four, if you recall, so long ago. Can't even remember it. Quick pause for Fnatic. They've had three used so far and no solutions, or at least none that are tangible right now. This double AWP of complexity is lighting up the scoreboard. Config 12 and three on his, and Poison's been shooting smokes. A great success. Not even 10 kills on a player on Fnatic. This is really scary stuff. Weird buy. JW on the hero AK. We've got pistols out behind it. Back to A. Early mid smoke to keep complexity. Considering a flank, but it's just Fnatic running the Gawler out ramp. Molly will hold them off. Brolin's past it, but he's hoping someone gets aggressive. Rush does, catching Crims. Brolin looking for the trade. Rush turns after one, and that's a free gun given over to Fnatic. And now they just pick up the pace. They go right in. Poison. Any more smoke kills? Surely not. Oh, it's close. It's close, all right. And there's the smoke kill we were waiting for. It comes from Config, but JW responds with one as well. This is uh, an odd one. Two out of the four kills in this round have been through smokes. And JW is now beginning the lengthy wrap all the way into middle. Now, the longer Cole take, the more influential this mid flank is going to be. Especially if these players in the site are able to stay alive. JW just takes the fight early. Poison running in. Takes out Golden, but Flush is going to get the better of him. And for Config, there's just no time. But he's looking for frags, and he might have them. Flusher goes down to the bomb. Everyone in the server falls. And Fnatic, they finally get a second round. Now, that was only pistols. 
So they're very, very happy with getting away with that one. And the hero AK on JW, right? Plus the, the M4 given over causes problems for Cole. Rush has had great A-holds, but finally it's, it considers that it's clear after one and looks away. Fnatic, that's their first bomb plant since their first round, right? Which was, as I said, round number four. So Cole have been winning off of the duels, but finally when Fnatic are allowed a bomb plant, they can pull their tricks, they can come in with that big flank for JW. Poison falling into Sandwich does catch a player off guard, but it's not enough and it's not quick enough. Cole take their time on the retake and the retake takes them. Golden through the smoke, delivering Poison, a taste of his own medicine. Rush back in CT now, a little more passive. Jumping, being spotted, Flusher shows the bomb here, and so Cole know what to expect. They've already pushed Config through the B apartment. He can come in on a late flank, but with the AWP, he really will be late. Flusher's deep, but no jungle smoke down to get the plant. Luckily, Brolin has control of that position from the mid flank, and so things are looking very good in this round for Fnatic position-wise. Cole with two in CT, Blame F trapped in mid, still looking for a flank that won't come through, and Config only now is clearing under to come and rejoin. That's a follow-up kill for Brolin, and Fnatic in a five on three. Ooh, that might force the idea of saving. Oh, well, now it definitely has, right? If there was any ifs or doubts in your mind, they're now gone, and for Config and Oboe, the priority becomes staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Just the one, huh? Just the one, man. Seems like they'll get that at least. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Yep, Flick that's why it was only up. one staying alive, mate, because I predicted this. Config is the only one staying alive. Not wrong. He's done something there. But Fnatic, best case scenario is a five round half. That's not going to be perfect, but it's what they're running for right now. Nice opener from Golden as well. The mid luck finally comes through when Complexity lose their early man. They don't throw more bodies at mid. And those rotates felt late, but Cole was scared of the fact that Fnatic would have another lurker. It's what lost them the last round in JW. And so Blame waiting in window for a while. Config taking time to clear B. It may have been plenty of info for Cole, but it leaves them lacking in the A site. Fnatic building, slow and steady. A slow start to the series, perhaps. What on your map pick is not what you want, but Cole can come back in with a buy. And this is Fnatic's chance to get five. They win this round, Cole are broke, and only with three loss as well. So there's a chance here for Fnatic after all. Don't count them out of this one. Cole looking to put a swift stop to it though. 12-3 would be very nice. The double orb to do it again. Fast out ramp. I love the aggression for Fnatic. Golden's out and they don't realize Rush might get caught again. Oh dear, the head's ducking. Golden oh. gets them both just about with the last few shots and he falls off surviving. And Cole, that's what they're looking to do. Survive, save, give up this round. But Fnatic weren't committed by any means of the word. And so if Cole try and take aggression into B, they could still walk into Crims who's holding. Man, the stars just aligned for Golden down at ramp. And now they bring this bomb back around. It looked like for a moment they weren't going to commit to A just then. But uh, no, they've decided against it on the back of Flusher, not seeing anything over in Palace. And now they will just move on in. Complexity, going to have to be this save. And so suddenly, you know, like while this was looking really quite dire at one point in time, you know, you were like 10-1 up on the Complexity side. You were probably thinking, there's, you know, we can get this done 16-1. We can just walk this over the line. Well, Fnatic have started to come alive. They've started to find their footing. And now a 10-5 half looks very, very possible. And suddenly, you know, that's that's recoverable. Like that's, I think that's like your bare minimum rounds that you're ever looking for here yeah. on T-side Mirage. I like Fnatic, no strangers to a comeback. They've been here before. They'll be here again. At this level, you can never assume a match or a round is won, right? Maybe this one for Fnatic in terms of this round, but... Uh, I know, Hugo, you can never assume. <laughs> I think I'm going to assume it here. But even so, yeah, Cole can't get ahead of themselves here. And they're not. They're making good calls, right? They lose those early two players on A. Yep, that's an unfortunate way to start the round, but immediately Blame makes the call. Now nah, get out of here. We need the guns. We need that last rifle round. Oboe's getting hounded down by two, but he shoots through the wood. He doesn't expect a second. JW's here. Oboe sees him. The spam back. Oboe trying to stay alive. This kill matters, and JW's going to take it. That's a problem for Cole. Lovely work from Fnatic. They can afford to throw guns away because they yeah. have the money anyway. So here's that lineup for Golden. Ridiculous stuff. Kills Rush first, or second rather, sorry, Poison at the back. 
Man, that really sucks as well. Like, if Obo was able to stay alive, you would have had five rifles here. It wouldn't have even been a problem. Blame could have dropped one over, and then uh, Obo would have been able to drop one as well, and you would have been sorted. That being said, Rush has been good with the SMGs so far this game. Yeah, but no matter how good you are with the SMGs, you always want a rifle, man. Everyone does. Oh, the call's been made. Yeah, they've, they've anticipated it. Brolin's been cheeky too much. And too much cheekiness makes you predictable. Here's Poison looking into the connector. Oh. The utility raining in to keep Brolin at bay. The Fnatic, now they fall completely silent. Blame's going to try and check the connector. And he comes to regret that decision as Brolin wins out the head-to-head. -head. There's no trade found either. Poison just a moment too late. Now going back, and this time he'll get it. Crim's now swinging to try and trade that back in favor of Fnatic. Rush has heard him leaving ramp. That flash going in signals Crims to turn back around that maybe someone's gone for a peek. And so Flusher was very, very ready for that close ramp position. Rotation's gonna have to start making their way over for complexity. Poison's gonna have to deliver a lot from CT on this orb. And he does have JW to go up against. Yeah, Flash has been good again for Fnatic, keeping Poison off the angle. Flash is out wide. Poison gets a shot, but he's getting spammed back. Molotov, Nade, Flash, everything. He's just sitting in the fire. He's not even trying to move out. And yeah, he's going to die from that. Blinded, bruised, burnt. Config does drop the bomb. 29 seconds. That is huge for Cole. It gives time for Obra to set up as well towards the connector. Won't be able to stop it the second time around. Fnatic use the smokes that are down to finally plug in the numbers. And now the retake is on for Cole. A chance at 11-4 at the half. Golden in the sight, not looking at jungle. Confit's going to take him down. He's having a really good game right now. And now it's all Krim stuck on the balcony. The last place they expect. Oh dear, Crim's tagged and config there to finish the job and deal that killing blow. Complexity, they are able to pick up another at the end of the half. It's 11 on the board for Cole. Fnatic falling behind with four on their map pick, no less. This is a pretty rough half for the Swedes. The big question is, can they bounce back? Or are Complexity going to move on to Nuke with a one map under their belt?
Welcome back to Astralis versus Mouse Sports. I'm kidding. That's the next matchup of the day. Currently, we have Complexity and Fnatic going at it toe to toe. Complexity looking pretty damn good on this first map of Mirage. Welcome back to ESL Pro League Season 12. Here, Hugo here with me. We're ready to jump into a pistol round with Hugo. Yes, indeed. Fnatic CT side now as we swap things over. Their map pick, one that they've won very well recently with no issues. But right now, Complexity presenting exactly what you'd expect. Issues. Flush are falling back CT. It's a retake for Fnatic. He's got the kit smoke, and the smokes are down for Cole to allow the plant. Which plant will they take? The world is their oyster. The bomb site is open, and planting for CT is their plan. Flusher joined by Brolin in the spawn as well. No flashes for Fnatic, and Cole are going to pop their way back into the spawn. Do they have the right timing? Yes. Golden caught out in the open. Brolin rather dead. Flush is still tucked in the spawn. They don't realize Poison going to run him down, but Crims will cover him, keeping this kit and smoke active for now, but everyone else is falling like flies. JW dinked out Oboe with a double oh. towards the spawn, and he finds three of the round. Oh my, Cole, 12 to four. Have some mercy. Yeah, that is a brutal pistol round. And I mean, just the rate at which Fnatic get churned up. Like the CT push comes to a very abrupt end the moment they realize Crims is all the way back in kitchen. So they go back into the site. They immediately just find the other two players that are coming in. And then that only leaves Crims right at the very end. And they already knew where he was. You've gone for the force buy here if you're Fnatic. Because quite frankly, you've got really no other choices at this point in time. So can they get it done with this double scout investment? Yeah, it's really not the prettiest purchase, but as you said, like, what other choice? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Brolin, he misses the B-app smoke. It lands on the car. Unless that's, like, the sickest one way I've never seen. I don't know, man. It's a good, uh, good example of how things are going for Fnatic right now. JW, oh boy, he just gets domed by Convict 21 and 3. This man does not die. He was orping most of the CT side as well from the short. But right now, no time for orps. Cole going quickly into the connector, setting up for this A take. Roland's in the window. Golden getting pressured up on short side. One of these scouts is actually back in the CT spawn. Golden's gone. And now it's up to Flusher, who gets wall banged through the boxes, well. as you would expect. <laughs> and this one yeah. is as good as done. I hope you had fun, Flusher. Oh. I hope it was a fun round, because Obo and Config, man, they, they don't make it very fun for the opposition. They're having a great time. Yeah. They don't care if anyone else is, because they are just finding everything. And this leaves Fnatic up against 13 with four rounds with no money. Now, if you're a Fnatic fan and that phrase made you wince, that's because it's pretty dire. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how you recover this game. Complexity are looking real fire right now. Like you said, com Config, 23 and 3. <laughs> what? It's oh. like he just decided to show up today and is like, actually, you know what? Denmark's better than Sweden. <laughs> Personal vendetta. Yeah. Make sure that this match goes the way it does. Oh, okay. Not just Fnatic missing nades. Bit of a team flash in the apartment, but not a worry for Cole. It's USPs on the other side. Look at it. Blame F. 10 and 5. He's barely seen anyone. He wants some kills as well. He's going to come through the connector with his Mac Daddy. Looking to churn and burn through these Fnatic players. And... There is a one player watching Con right now. It's Flusher on the site, but he's just crept through a corner. Oh dear, it's a bit messy, but he'll get it done. Another one, Flusher with the USP removed as well. A is clear, they're still gonna hit B. Why not? You're up against pistols, but maybe Brolin is the reason why he's removed by Obo. Crimson at the back of the site, gone too. Config doesn't miss those and blame onto a 3K, making money, winning rounds, just day to day in complexity. 14 to four, and Fnatic. This is it. Their one rifle round to show us everything on the CT side. This is the result of forcing up in the second. The buy will be better than it would have been otherwise, but it will be delayed by one. And so it's all on winning this one if you want to stay in the matchup, or at least the map, your map in the series. Yeah, the thing that's so scary is it's not even like it's a close contest right now, you know? Like, this is... In case it's not obvious, a very one-sided really? game. Yeah, no man. You're, next, well, you're going to tell me 14 is bigger than four, Harry, and I don't know if I can stand. Well, that. I mean, the way you can tell, right, is they they both have a four in, but yeah. complexity has another number in, and so that would make it just bigger no matter what. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Man up though, Fnatic, right? This is this is it. This is the start of what could be one of the greatest comebacks of all time. But can they do it? That's the question. 14 to four with a man advantage with no kits as well. Fnatic tried playing retake in the pistol and they weren't allowed. Denied by the aggression on complexity side. Russia, oh boy, pushing ahead of the flashbang. He's almost got Rush, but Rush somehow wins that battle. Caught out with grenades, still gets away. Config, he has been slaying and he's coming through the connector, but doubling back JW in the smoke, waiting for the fade and it works wonderfully. Keeping Fnatic a man up and forcing Cole into the B-bomb site. Yeah, and even though they've directed the flow of complexity in this round, that doesn't mean that it's a guaranteed round win, especially not now that you're back into a three on three and Cole, they decide, actually, you know what? We've shown our presence at B. We put up a kill here. We're going to go down through lower and start to wrap our way into A. Now, this is heard by JW, and so Crims knows that there's danger coming his way, but he's only good for one. Where the danger is not the same as dealing with it. JW not able to deny that plant. And even then, put in the ground. This was a man advantage for Fnatic. It looked like they were going to at least get one more on this CT side. But now that all falls onto Golden. We already talked about the lack of kit. It might matter here. Golden needs this one-on-one -on -one quick, but Blame's on the long flank. He's killed Poison in the sight. Golden doesn't know this. Why would a player flank in a two-on-one? -on -one? That just seems uncharacteristic. And Blame has made the ultimate play. Golden, as soon as he taps the bomb, he's dead. And if not before, the time is ticking. Golden's running, and Blame's like, hello, I'm here right behind you. Golden, that is not the way you want to go down. And Blame, he's going to find 15 for complexity. Yeah, right there at the finish. The Finish line, even finish line, not to be confused with a Danish line or a Swedish line, it is a finish line with only one in 15 4, though. They've made Fnatic look silly on their pick of Mirage. Yeah, it scares me for the series, right? Like, we know how good Cole has been on Nuke recently. Their outside control is beautiful. Poison with the AWP is looking great. Config 24 and 4. I'm going to keep saying his score because it keeps getting better. Blame gone, though. Nate up middle. Oboe's out of the ramp smoke. He doesn't care. Config will assist. There's three players here from Fnatic in a line towards the jungle looking to fight back. But Molotovs are going to push them into uncomfortable positions. Config flashing. Oboe into their face. Can he find value here? Oh, dear. East. Link, can you miss it? Well, yeah, that's a very abrupt ending to this round and potentially this game, unless Brolin can deliver a crazy 3K from CT. But can Brolin now deliver a crazy 3K from CT? The odds heavily stacked against oh. him, and Oboe sees to it that complexity lock in a dominant map of Mirage.